Welcome everybody to the council meeting, 2nd of June 2020. Um, I think if maybe just to keep things handy, if we go to group leaders for apologies, um, it might make things quicker. So, if, uh, Barry, have you got any apologies from Sinn Féin? Right, again. Again. Well, we'll come back to him. Um, Victor, have you any apologies from the Ulster Unionists? I'm not aware of any apologies, Chair. Okay. Errol? No apologies, Chairman. Excellent. Mary? Uh, no, Chair, I think we all should be here at some stage. Uh, we can't really move on. Uh, independence, uh, any, any, any noted apologies from any of the independents? No, none, none known. Okay, they're all in it, yeah? I think they are. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no apologies. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's, that's the apologies taken. Um, just a couple of items before we, before we start. Um, we're going to try and adhere to the, the standing orders. So we're going to, as, as far as possible, just keep the keep the um, keep the interventions limited and and you know if, if possible, you know, try and come in once. Just just think before you um, think very carefully before you come in. So you only have to come in once and you get everything you want to say across. Um, there's a lot of correspondence, so if it's not explicitly referenced within the meeting, uh, just assume that it hasn't um, hasn't been hasn't there's no there's no response being been issued. Um, so I think the first item of the of business is to uh, confirm and sign the minutes of the council meeting held on the sixth of May, 2020. Uh, so if we go through that page by page, um, remember this is this is this is just for accuracy. So page one. Two, three. Audio is difficult from Stephen McCann. Can we? Can we okay. Well, just I, I'm noticing that some people are saying that the audio was poor. So if you just turn your cameras off, that should be ease some of the bandwidth problems. If you're not speaking, that might help things. So there's a few e cameras on there. Uh, Barry and Bert, and that's it. Yeah. So as I say, if you can, okay. So as I say, if you can just if you can just turn your turn your audio off or turn your video off, it'll just make it a lot handier for everybody, uh, to, in terms of bandwidth. Um, Councillor Thornton, are you looking in? Yeah. Thornton. No. We'll maybe come back to him then if if we can get him on the line. Uh, so we're on page four. Five. Hands go up. Yeah. Thanks, Chair. It's Councillor Armstrong here. Um, good evening. At page five, um, in the second paragraph, um, it mentions the number, the approximate traffic vehicles travelled from Edinburgh to Lack, and nine percent of these have exceeded the speed limit. It's actually ninety percent. Could we just have that corrected, please? That can be corrected. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, uh, I have actually Donald's looking in as well. Um, sorry. Well, firstly, our members can that that's that's amend that's amended. Oh goodness! I'll take that as as yes. Um, Donald. Yeah, thank you, sir. It's in relation to item 6.3. Uh, uh, it states that uh, I'd stated that there was an increased number of bus services to Dublin, uh, which uh, I believe either I misspoke or someone misheard me, but uh, there were two issues I raised. The first is that there was an a proposal to increase the overall number of bus services, and then there was uncertainty over cross-border provision, including obviously buses to Dublin. Uh, in regard to whether it would be uh, mandatory to wear uh, face masks, and that was uh, the issue I was looking at. So, hence the correspondence <laughs> we went for it. It's sort of a, uh, an, an unfortunate. Okay, I just don't know. Do you have your phone? Because sometimes that can make the feedback. Lost him. 
Is that me? I've lost them. Is he still? Is he still? You've muted yourself, Donald. Um, that are you, is there any is there any proposal out of that there, or do we just note that? Chair, maybe if I could assist. I think what Councillor Coffey is saying there were two aspects of his original um, discussion at the previous meeting that either was misinterpreted or uh, wasn't recorded as as had been intended. So the first was really regarding the the provision of bus services generally, and then secondly the clarification on whether or not there would be a requirement to wear face masks on the services. Just maybe to clarify if that's the correct uh, interpretation of what the councillor had intended to raise to her. No, I haven't still got hands up or down. Hold on. Donald. Thank you, Cherry. I, I, I didn't quite catch all that because it was a bit muffled, but I, I believe uh, that uh, Alison is, is correct in their interpretation. Basically, the second point, just to clarify once again, was that there was a lack of clarity around whether uh, it would be mandatory, made mandatory to uh, have face masks on one side or the other of the border. And as such, on a cross-border service, it could leave drivers having to police the situation, which would be unfortunate. Okay. Well, you're happy enough to... No, well, our members contend that that would be that would be incorporated into the incorporated into the minutes. Any objections? Voice and now. No, agree. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm noticing a lot of people are saying that the sounds very bad. Is there anything we can do about that, Damien? Yeah. We might have. Would it be an idea to maybe pause the meeting until, until, until we sort out some tech? Right. We're, can we take? A, we're going to take a five-minute recess to try and. Yeah. No, I agree, Stephen. We're going to take a five-minute recess to try and sort out some of the sound issues, and we'll meet back in nineteen sixteen. Okay. Right. So let's see. What... That was a good year. No. <laughs> Proposed that if required. <laughs> <laughs> Very historic year, Councillor. <laughs>